I have one duet party one more beautiful time great ten sciences in front of you and we have been learning motions in a straight line and it's by the Sri Sri Lankan government school syllabus chapter number 2 video number 3 is in front of you and we are going to speak about velocity in this beautiful session we already learned about the distance and the displacement the distance and displacement has to do a very major part in calculating and getting the equations done we'll talk about it further in this beautiful session let's get into the subject now as you know that we already talk about the distance okay and then after that we talk about displacement now distance has magnitude and displacement got magnitude and the direction we got that difference is very clearly now when we are talking about speed the distance came into action that speed is always calculated with considering distance divided by time it can be mean time or it can be mean speed or the normal speed when we're talking about displacement okay velocity is always considered with the displacement that's what we will understand now you see this one the equation says velocity is equals to displacement divided by time now let's understand this chart during the first second there is a displacement of 3 meters and the second second there is a displacement of 2 meters and in the third second there is a displacement of 4 meters and in the fourth there's once again the displacement of 3 but this is not uniform you see this one 3 2 4 3 when it is uniform they call it as constant or uniform velocity but is this uniform no this particular one is not uniform so uniform velocity the displacement will be equal and one more thing when there is a uniform velocity or a constant velocity when a body is moving at a constant velocity you see this one neither the magnitude magnitude no the direction of its velocity changes with the time so what happens magnitude no the direction as displacement is considered it has magnitude i'll put mg and then direction also will be there this both will not change when there is a constant velocity we understood that now there is a beautiful sum or you can call it as example that we are going to check manually if a body moves along a straight line at a constant velocity of 6 meters per second then the change in the displacement during each one second interval is 6 meter that is very interesting so the first second it's moving around about 6 meter from 0 to 1 and then after that it is moving another 6 meter in the next second and then after that it is moving another meter 6 meter in third second and for the fourth second also it is moving another 6 meter and another 6 meter it is moving after the 5 second the direction of the motion also remaining constant if the body moves at this constant velocity for 5 second yes we did it what is happening 1 2 3 4 5 second then its displacement after 5 second will be 6 meter 6 meter 6 meter and 6 meter if you make this total you will get an answer as 30 meter so after 5 second what is the displacement 30 meter so you can't do it for 100 you can't do it for 1000 seconds right so you need to have a equation to do that so we have a equation for that that is velocity displacement time now they are asking us to find this displacement now the question is did they give velocity 
Yes. And did they give time? Yes. Now let's understand that one. After how many seconds that they are asking you to find the velocity? Yes, the velocity is already given. It is 6 meters per second. And the time after 5 seconds. So let's simplify this one. You want to find out the displacement. I am going to re rewrite the equation as per rearrange the equation. That's the right word. Velocity multiplied by time. Did you understand what happened? This time goes up and the displacement keep itself. So we want to find out the displacement after 5 seconds. So what is the velocity they are giving? 6 ms minus 1 multiplied by 5 seconds. And 6 times 5 is equal to 30. So we got the same answer as in this particular example. So we can do it in easy way or we can do it in harder way. So when we have an equation like this, it's very easy to understand. And if this is the constant value, if this is the constant velocity, if somebody wants to find out after 20 seconds what is the displacement, it is very simple. How are we going to find out after 20 seconds? 6 meter multiplied by 20. That's going to be 120 meters. After 20 seconds, if the velocity is same, the displacement will be 120 meter. Voila, that's a very interesting way to understand if it is a constant and uniform velocity. It's very simple. I hope you understood this particular exercise. Now let's move ahead and find out another one. Here we have one more thing. Look at this. This is not uniform. 0 to 4, 4 to 7, 7 to 9 and 9 to 12. Now here the different is 4, here the different is 3, here the different is 2, here the different is 3 and therefore it is not in a constant wall, constant uh, velocity. Here the velocity once again displacement divided by time but here the mean velocity you want to consider. That's because it is not uniform for that reason. What are we going to do? You're going to find out the mean velocity. We did the same thing in the speed case also, right? When there is no equal speed. Yeah, this definitely. When there is no equal distance in between two time interval, we found out the mean speed. Here also mean velocity we are finding. To find out the mean velocity of the above object, once again, displacement is divided by time. Displacement is divided by time. But here what happened is you are taking the last displacement, that is 12, and the last time is 4. That is what they did. Let's see that one. Yes, 12 meter divided by 4 second. There you are getting the mean velocity as 3 meters per second. So you understood that one also, I believe. Now, we have a beautiful sum that we will understand at the end of this session. We are going to find out so many answers for this question. Let's look at this chart very carefully and understand after this question. What kind of motion has the child undergone during the first four seconds? Okay. From this is the first second and this is the second. He is displacing two third second and 4 seconds. Okay. 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 3 and 4 seconds. When he's moving, he moved in a very regular interval and his motion is equal over here. You see this one? So what is happening here is the child has moved forward by 8 meter at a uniform velocity during the first 4 seconds. Are you agreeing to this answer? Yes. Now that you understand. Now the second question that they are asking is, what is the rate of change of the displacement during 4 seconds? Now that is a new word that you are understanding. Rate of change of displacement. Do you see this one? That means they are asking about something 
different happened in between these timing am i right okay let's understand this equation now the rate of change of the displacement during the first four second from here to here here to here here to here and here to here to find out you want to understand the change of displacement that is divided by time change of displacement divided by time now what is that change of displacement that is final displacement minus initial displacement in this final displacement is you see this is 8 and the initial displacement is 0 and the time is 4 8 0 and 4 so you understood when we are putting that one into equation 8 minus 0 meters divided by 4 second so what is the rate of change of displacement 2 meters per second so I hope you understood this also right now the third question says give one word to describe the rate of change of the displacement so what is this rate of change of displacement that is the most interesting thing that we are going to understand that is about the velocity voila so we came to know what is velocity rate of change of the displacement is the velocity you see this one from here to here it is changing the rate of change of displacement is the velocity this is the difference 8 minus 0 divided by 4 is the velocity during this first 4 second what can you say about the motion of the child during the time period from 4 second to 8 second here to here see the displacement what is happening has he moved anywhere no that is right the child has not moved during the time period from 4 second to 8 second he was standing displacement is same 8 8 8 8 8 okay now the describe the motion during the time interval from 8 to 10 second 8 9 and 10 second what happened 8 to 4 4 to 0 this is going minus what is happening exactly over there is the displacement during the time interval from 8 second to 10 second has taken place in opposite direction he has come back to the starting point after 10 second so he went from here and then he came in the same direction voila that he went slowly right and then he came very fastly i feel okay so find the velocity of the child during the last two seconds that means from here to here what is the velocity that we want to find out i think from here to here the velocity was two but we are going to find out the velocity from eight nine to ten last two seconds velocity of the child during last two seconds is always change of the displacement time now here the change of the displacement is the last minus the initial divided by two seconds because in between it is two seconds so see what is happening here minus four meters per second minus four meters per second that says the velocity is four meters per second in the opposite direction here the velocity is it's not it considered as slow when it is minus four meters per second the velocity is in the opposite direction what is direction opposite direction it is not about the distance it is not about the speed it's about velocity if the velocity is in minus it is going the opposite direction remember that one always that's the difference between speed and velocity we came to know the velocity very clearly we came to know the velocity very clearly velocity is always equal to change of displacement divided by what time change of displacement div divided by time if it is giving a plus if it is giving a plus results it is going in the direction if it is giving a minus it is going in the opposite direction that's what we understood in this beautiful session. Bye-bye. And I'm going to teach you more about these things in our next session also. I hope you understood the lesson very clearly.
otherwise look it back again and again until i meet you again in another session bye bye take care of yourself